In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the interior angles in a polygon. More specifically, we're going to ask the question, how do you find the sum of the interior angles in a polygon? So just as a reminder, the interior angles are the angles that are found on the inside of a polygon. And uh, another piece of background information that we're going to need to use is that the sum of the interior angles for any triangle is 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on finding the sum of the interior angles for a uh, this six-sided polygon, or in other words, a hexagon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw the interior angles. And so there's one here, and then there's one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So we have six interior angles. Now in this case, this looks to be a regular hexagon um, where all the sides and all the angles are the same, but this strategy will also work for non-regular polygons. So we're going to actually look at two different strategies. Uh, and both of these strategies involve dividing the shape up into triangles. So for the very, very first, for the first method, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a corner. And I usually pick the bottom uh, left corner, but I'm going to pick a corner. I'm going to color it in. And then I'm going to draw a line from this purple corner to every other corner on the shape. So the first one's just along the bottom here, and it's already kind of connected by the uh, one of the sides. So I'm not going to draw that one, but now I'm going to draw out. There's one. I'll draw up to the top here. There's two. There's three. And then you see this fourth one's already here. So what I've done really now is I've divided my hexagon into one, two, three, four different triangles. So now that I've divided this into four different triangles, I can use my background knowledge that the sum of the interior angles for any triangle is 180 degrees to find the sum of the interior angles for the entire polygon. And so what I really have here is I have 180 degrees inside this triangle, 180 degrees in this triangle, 180 in this triangle, and 180 in this triangle. Or in other words, four times 180. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to say 4 times 180, and that is equal to 720 degrees. So what I get here is that the sum of the angles in this regular, in this, in this, in this case, regular hexagon is 720 degrees. Uh, now, this is a pattern that actually works for all polygons. And so what mathematicians do, of course, is if we recognize a pattern, is we try to write a rule to represent that pattern. And in this case, the rule that we are going to talk about is, uh, the formula is to find the sum of the angles that is equal to n minus 2 times 180. So let's talk about this n minus 2 piece. The n represents the number of sides that there are in the polygon that we're looking at. So in this case, it was 6. The minus 2 comes from when we take the number of sides and we change it into the number of triangles. And so you'll see here for our six-sided hexagon, we actually made 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles. And that pattern actually works for all polygons. And so if we just actually plug in this formula, we'll actually see that we can say, well, S equals 6 minus 2 times 180. Remember, the 6 came from that. It's a hexagon, which equals 4 times 180, which then, as we just worked out above, is 720 degrees. So that's one strategy that we can use to find the sum of the interior angles in a polygon. Another strategy that we can use focuses on using triangles again, but it's done a little bit differently. In this case, we're just going to pick a dot in the middle of the shape. And it doesn't have to be the very middle. It can be actually in some weird spot. I'll make one mine up here. And just like we did in the previous strategy, we're going to draw a line from, that, from each corner or from that dot to each corner. And notice that I don't have to do this perfectly. I'm just doing this kind of rough. Right, there we go. And last one. Okay, and so once again, in this case here, we've divided this up into one, two, three, four, five, six 
triangles. And we know, once again, that the sum of each, the sum of the angles for each triangle is 180 degrees. So what we can do is we can say, okay, well, I want to know what the sum is. So it's going to be, uh, I have six triangles. Each triangle is 180 degrees. And that is a total of 1,080. Now, if you, if you notice, that was actually different from what we came up with the first time. The first time, we came up with a total of 720 degrees. So you might be asking yourself, well, wait a second. You said there are two ways. Why are they giving different answers? Well, it has to do with how we divided this up into triangles. Um, if we just look at triangle one here, triangle one has one, two, three angles. And triangle two has the same, one, two, three angles. And triangle three has the same. And triangle four has the same. And triangle five has the same. And triangle six has the same. What's different in this case, though, is that we've actually have this sort of this group in the middle that we've also counted um, when in this 1080. So what we need to try and do is we need to take away this sort of circle in the middle. And as we know, a circle has is 360 degrees. So if I take 1080 and minus 360, 10 minus 3 is 7, 80 minus 60 is 20. And there I get my 720 degrees. So just like we did the first time, we can actually write a rule for this. And the rule in this case is that the sum of the angles is equal to the number of sides being n times 180, because there's 180 degrees in each triangle. And this time, we're subtracting 360 degrees, because we're subtracting that circle in the middle. So just as a reminder, n is the number of sides. In this case, it was 6, because we had a hexagon. That made six triangles, which was 100 times 180 degrees, and then we subtract the circle in the middle. And that is two different strategies that you can use to find the sum of interior angles in a polygon.